nonprofit organizations in Los Angeles use social networks a lot uh, to promote events, um, to get people to uh, volunteer, uh, to support uh, functions that are going on and just kind of rallying the troops for a cause or for a food giveaway or for taking kids on a field trip. or So it, it definitely helps out a lot to have uh, access to social networks to utilize for um, promoting our efforts. You know, as far as what people want to watch on YouTube, um, Unfortunately, I guess the first thing that catches people's attention is the, the gory details or the raw pictures or images of, of things happening that are probably hard to believe. But I think um, in general, people are being more receptive to positive uh, videos nowadays uh, for various reasons, but probably due to the hard work of organizations like, like my own um, that work with families and communities and kids and, and try to get those positive messages out there. But it's definitely needed. We need more of it. You know, over the last 10 years, I've seen the behavior of children change um, and gravitate towards technology, um, either out of curiosity or because everybody's doing it, you know, kind of getting with the times. So just the way that they conduct themselves, uh, the way they make friends, the way they interact, um, the way they handle disputes, uh, the way they entertain themselves, um, you know, looking for a friend, looking for an outlet. Uh, so, I mean, technology and social networks can, can definitely help out kids who are looking for somebody to connect to, something to do, um, you know, as opposed to watching TV. I remember myself, uh, for example, when I was a kid, we didn't even have a computer. We barely had a TV. So we spent a lot of time out in the streets, you know, maybe probably getting into some trouble, you know, breaking a window, the neighbor's window or what have you, but playing baseball in the street. So, um, but I think kids are de gravitating towards technology right now at, a, at an alarming rate. And I think it's I think it's a positive, um, as long as people who are able to make sure that we teach them what they need to know, uh, you know, both pros and cons, um, so that they utilize technology in the right way.